Well, holy cow, a $10,000 repair bill, no kidding. Actually, it's not cows, but rats. Tonight, animals that eat your car engine. And yes, the repair bills are sky high. I have never heard of this before. Maybe you have, maybe not. But people are telling me, better look under your car hood. I had no idea. Ann lives here at the beaches. And to fix her car, how much did it cost? $10,000. 10K? Good gosh. Anne is showing me where the rodents attacked her engine. They chewed the wires, and when I tried to start my car, it just shuddered. Ann believes it was this critter, a palm rat. But over here at Cypress Village off San Pablo, they blame raccoons. Yeah, have you ever seen their hands? They are scary. These folks tell me it's like a war with those raccoons. I guess they have teeth like beavers. Here's the damage to Bobby's car inside. It's terribly frustrating. Her repair bill the first time? Was $800. Then the next time? $1,600. For Lou? Close to $700. And Mary Jane? Mine was $1,600. My son-in-law saw the raccoon. The garage told me it wasn't safe, and I believe it. Not safe for me to drive the car back home. So I came here to Arlington Toyota. Sulio Petkovic. Sulio is the service manager. Um, it is, it is very common, unfortunately. In fact, this car in the shop here for repairs. You can see the engine all torn up in these photos. It doesn't matter whether they live in the woods or that they live in the city. Joseph is shop manager. He says rats and squirrels are attracted to some chemical in the coating of the wires. It's a delicacy, <laughs> evidently. So the solution? And makes a, a high-pitched noise that only the rats can hear. Anne had Arlington Toyota install this, a mouse blocker, and she uses this peppermint spray. It's not poison, Anne says, because that would poison the owls that eat the rats, and she doesn't want to do that. <laughs> Lou sprays this, Raid with lavender scent, but he's not optimistic. Somebody told him that WD-40 works, but no. They love the WD-40, so maybe they like this also. Frustrating for sure, but also it's worth trying to fight the critters because those repair bills, they are crazy. And one more note here. I just got a text from Sulio at Arlington Toyota. He says they are seeing more and more engines damaged right now. As the weather gets cooler, he says it gets worse because rodents head into the warmth under your hood.